Hello everyone, I'm Ryan with Nelson Fragrance. I'd like to thank you all for joining me with my first ever fragrance video. Um, I figured I'd start with something that I'm very excited about. A good friend of mine, Jono, just launched his new brand, Folk Winds Perfumery. And uh, I pre-ordered this set and it just arrived and I'm really excited to check it out. So we're actually going to do an unboxing and first impressions of one of the fragrances. So without further ado, let's get right into that. We have a box in a box here, packaged very securely. I'm going to dump out some of these. is definitely a way to ship fragrances securely. Okay, we have a card. We have the set. So instead of boxes, since most people just throw their boxes out anyways, Folk Winds ships all of the perfumes out with a personalized bandana made here in the United States. Just to give you something you can actually use instead of just a box that sits on display, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to try one of these for the video. Um, I've sampled one. I have tried American Pharaoh in a previous version. So I haven't smelled the new version, but the one that I really want to try is uh, Cloud, Cloud Illusions. All right. We have American Pharaoh to start it off. <clears throat> and the bandana that goes with it. This is very nice print. Very detailed. Cloud Illusions. Oh, that looks awesome. <clears throat> Here's the bandana for Cloud Illusions. And 
lastly, we have Santi Anna. Really digging this presentation style. Something very new and unique, which is something hard to find in the fragrance world today. Nice, thick, sturdy glass bottles. I believe these are CNC machined stainless steel caps. I really like the patterning on them too. They uh. They have a texture to them as well. Nice and heavy. Fit the bottle snug. It's going to hold it onto there pretty well. Ooh. Not sure. You guys can see that in the camera. This has a deep green hue to it. Very, very dark green. Once again, we have American Pharaoh. Which has a reddish hue and Santi Anna, which is more of a brown. Let's go ahead and get into this. So, Cloud Illusions, I only skimmed the notes. I'm not too familiar with everything that's in here, but the first thing that I saw was blueberry. And I love blueberries, I love the smell of blueberries. So, when I saw the blueberries was in this, I was very excited. And Jono actually told me that he. I thought that this was going to be the one that I like the most too. So let's go ahead and give it a spray here. Right off the top. Nice tart blueberry. Like kind of juicy too. Like you can get like the juice of the blueberry right out of the perfume. Very nice. It's got like a interesting texture to it as well. I think I saw something about Hubba Bubba Bubblegum. Maybe a tincture made out of that. It'll be very interesting to hear how that became part of the process with this. Mm, this is very, very smooth. Smooth, sweet, that blueberry tartness. <clears throat> Very pleasant. <clears throat> that wafted in the air a little bit. Yeah, this is lovely. <clears throat> Be interested to go through the rest of the notes to see what else I can pick up with this. I believe Iris too. I'm getting iris in there. Definitely like attribute it like a lending to the creaminess of it. The smoothness. <clears throat> this is very uh very pleasant. Yeah. So that's uh Folkwinds Perfumery. I'll probably do a more formal review of all three of these. I just wanted to get them and show them off. So thank you all for joining me and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Peace and love.